Patrick Thompson from CoinGeek, and I'm here with Tina Balsley, the legal fintech blockchain expert. So, Tina, I'm wondering, when did you first start seeing, uh, you know, blockchain and digital currency related cases uh, come to you? Or when did you see these companies start looking for legal counsel? That started back in 2016. So quite some time ago. Uh, and uh, since then, uh, Switzerland has been in the center of development. And, you know, are there any sort of common cases or, I guess, pain points regarding blockchain and digital currency when it comes to the law that um, you see often? And then we'll, we'll follow up with what you would like to see solved. Well, a lot of people, at least in, in the old days, were not uh, aware that uh, when they were issuing tokens, they have the full area of um, regulations potentially kicking in. Uh, to their project. So this can go like from banking regulations, but investment funds, even in, of course, to, to AML considerations, and people were not aware. But this uh, awareness is increasing, and we see a clear tendency to, uh, towards compliance in the space. And, you know, oftentimes I hear that a lot of the existing legal frameworks actually apply to blockchain and digital currency. Most of the stuff that you see, do you think that's true or do you think we also need some new laws and regulations that better capture what goes on in the blockchain digital currency space? Um, so depending on uh, the jurisdiction, different types of initiatives are of course on the way or have already materialized. Personally speaking from Switzerland, we have a new, brand new actually DLT law which has partially entered into force in February of this year. The rest of it will enter into force of 1st of July, most likely. Um, and, and with this, at least in Switzerland, we have a very good framework. We've seen other countries like Liechtenstein, for example, or Malta or Gibraltar, which have come up with specific blockchain laws. And there are, of course, initiatives even on the EU level in the space. So it's, it's a very dynamic space a lot still to come uh, and some of it already in place. Do you think most governments and lawmakers are open to, you know, learning more about blockchain and digital currency or do you think they kind of take a wait and see approach or are a bit hesitant when it comes to, uh, I guess, blockchain and digital currency innovation? Um, I've made the experience that regulators are quite on top of things. so. There used to be a wait and see approach back in 2016, 17, 18 probably, but this has dramatically changed. So most regulators, um, the predominant ones around the world, they have very good knowledge internally in the space by now. And if there was one sort of general takeaway that you would want the audience to know about you, the work that you do, and the intersection of uh, blockchain, digital currencies, and the law, what would that general takeaway be? As a lawyer, it's always the same. Um, you're probably not that much liked, but you're necessary. So I'm necessary. Um, I, I do help uh, projects to be compliant so that they don't have problems in the end because that's just not worth it. Uh, a lot of times uh, it's a lot of money at stake. Um, so it's worth it taking it a bit of money up front so that in the end, in the long run, there are less or even no problems. So that's me. And Tina, if anybody's looking for you and your services, where can they reach out to you for more information and where can they learn more? Please just read out to me on LinkedIn, Tina Rebecca Balsley, that's me, and I will be most happy to return your questions. Amazing. Thank you so much for your time today, Tina. And um, if anybody has any sort of questions related to blockchain, the law, Tina is the one to get in contact with, so feel free to reach out to her. Hi, it's Jimmy Nguyen, founding president of Bitcoin Association. I'm inviting you to the 8th CoinGeek Conference. CoinGeek is coming back to the Big Apple, New York City. Join us October 5th through 7th at the Sheraton New York Times Square Hotel in Manhattan. You'll learn how the BSV blockchain is transforming all industries. With its massive scalability, BSV can power efficient payments down to the micro and nano level and data applications of all types for enterprise, government, and consumers. After so many years of just hearing about the promise of blockchain technology, it's time to see some real uses and real value. Registration is now open, so get your tickets early and stay tuned for more information about CoinGeek New York. BSV Blockchain, it's about time.